Are hybrid powertrain systems bad for your combustion engine? The question here is, do hybrid powertrain systems put extra strain on your combustion gasoline engine and can they do harm in the long run? And is there risk of things like moisture or water buildup in the combustion engine of a hybrid vehicle over time? Well, you'll be relieved to know that the short answer is no. Hybrid powertrain systems do not do any harm in the short term or in the long term to gasoline combustion engines. This topic comes up from a feature in most late model vehicles and specifically in Toyota hybrid vehicles called auto start stop or smart stop feature. Automatic start stop technology also referred to as smart stop is a feature that disengages or temporarily shuts off the combustion engine while the vehicle is in certain driving modes, for example, stopped at a traffic light or stopped at a stop sign. And this technology starts the combustion engine once again, once the driver is ready to move, aiming to improve fuel efficiency and reduce emissions. Now, being that this is a hybrid Toyota vehicle, the question here is, does this technology do any harm over the long run of a hybrid powertrain system because the combustion engine is getting turned off and on more frequently due to it yielding to the electrical components or the electrical motors, hence having a hybrid Toyota. Well, here's exactly how the system works. The system will be smart enough to detect when the vehicle is actually in a stopped position and it's generally detected when the driver puts their foot on the brake pedal for a certain amount of time or when the speed has been reduced to a certain point. The gasoline combustion engine will shut down until it's ready for takeoff again, but it will keep essential components running and active. I'm talking about essential systems like your air conditioning, your power steering, and all of your lights will remain running. And when the driver releases the brake pedal and goes to the gas pedal, the vehicle will continue on with a very responsive restart and gradual acceleration. Now, the main concern here, I get this question a lot in comments of my videos and email to me, is the smart stop technology more of a concern in hybrid Toyotas than in regular non-hybrid vehicles? Because like I previously mentioned, Hybrid Toyotas have more frequent times when the gasoline combustion engine will be disengaged because it's working hand in hand with your electric motor and hybrid powertrain system. Now I've put together a simple ebook and you can get it in the link in the description below. And it basically explains the basics of how a Toyota hybrid powertrain system works, how to properly care for it, maintain it, and how to improve efficiency. But overall, to answer the question about any possible harm to your hybrid Toyota vehicle due to this feature, Toyota hybrid vehicles are designed with advanced technologies and systems that reduce the risk of any potential extra strain or wear and tear on these Toyota hybrid vehicles from this active smart stop feature. And overall, keep in mind the benefit of fuel efficiency over the regular gasoline combustion powertrain systems only typically outweigh any potential engine wear and tear concerns. However, it's important to consider factors like driving conditions and battery health when using this feature. You see, vehicle manufacturers like Toyota have designed their hybrid powertrain systems to handle frequent starts with features like optimized starter motors, improved oil management, and quicker restarts to minimize any wear and tear. Now, the topic of moisture or condensation within the engine of a hybrid vehicle comes down to the topic or the concern that it's thought that combustion engines on hybrids don't reach a high enough operating temperature because they aren't always in use during your drive, in turn creating condensation during combustion and frequent on off cycles from this smart stop technology and over time presenting a possible concern. But you see, here's the thing. Manufacturers like Toyota produce engine oils specifically designed for hybrids that can better handle moisture and maintain stability in varying 
engine temperature conditions. And this is one of the reasons why it is so important to use the recommended oil from Toyota and to follow the scheduled recommended maintenance intervals for oil changes on your hybrid Toyota vehicle. Now, in my opinion, there would be only a concern if you're consistently always using your hybrid Toyota for very short trips, extremely short trips, to the point where you're combustion engine never really warms up and never really reaches any optimal operating temperature. But you see, I've driven hybrid Toyotas for the past, I wanna say six to seven years, maybe longer. And it's varied from RAV4, Highlander, Grand Highlander, Toyota Sienna, Toyota Venza. And my round trips are very short. I probably average around 10 to 20 kilometers of driving in a day. Uh, so you would think that my engine does not actually reach optimal operating temperature because of the smart stop technology, because the gasoline combustion engine is not always in use and it's yielding to the electrical motor in the hybrid powertrain systems. But I've never had a concern and I've never noticed that the actual oil temperature in the gasoline combustion engine, every hybrid Toyota does still have this gauge where you can actually see and measure how warm or what the temperature is of your engine oil in your gasoline combustion engine. And it's always reached the optimal operating temperature without any concern or issues. And I do drive very little. That's right, everyone, just check your oil temperature gauge in your multi-information display system. That's that screen that's right behind your steering wheel. And keep an eye on your oil temperature. You will see that it very easily and very quickly gets to the optimal operating temperature. So like I previously said, these Toyota vehicles are designed in a way that eliminates or incredibly reduces the impact of any wear and tear concern due to the frequent smart stop feature in these hybrid Toyotas. And here's the thing, if you are using your hybrid Toyota vehicle just to drop your kids off to school or go to the grocery store and that's it, there's a few things you can do to reduce any potential wear on the combustion engine or the hybrid powertrain system. Something very simple like letting your hybrid Toyota warm up before you actually take off. That's right, start your vehicle, Give it a minute or two to warm up, depending on your uh, outside temperature as well. This will play a big factor. And really, the risk for any concern just goes out the window. And keep this in mind, I break this down in the ebook as well. The overall engine workload in a hybrid powertrain system is very different than a regular conventional gasoline Toyota vehicle or any other vehicle for that matter. The engine workload is incredibly reduced overall. So the risk for any potential wear and tear on these hybrid Toyotas is already reduced regardless of the smart stop feature because like I mentioned that gasoline combustion engine isn't always working to help get the vehicle going and it yields to that electrical motor in the hybrid powertrain system depending on your driving style. Due to this increased use of the gasoline combustion engine and due to lovely regenerative braking on hybrid powertrain systems. If you don't really quite understand what regenerative braking is, I explained it a bit more in other past videos and also in the ebook. I'll put links in the description below to previous videos. You can check that out later on. But due to the reduced wear on these mechanical components, your overall scheduled maintenance or wear and tear cost on the hybrid Toyota vehicles could potentially be less than if you were driving a regular Toyota non-hybrid vehicle. Now I know what you're thinking, what about the hybrid high voltage battery underneath the floor of your hybrid Toyota vehicle? What about the potential risk for any wear and tear or concerns or replacement of that? Well, you probably already know the general cost for a replacement of a hybrid high voltage battery can be around three to $5,000, 
depending on a lot of factors, depending on what type of Toyota hybrid it is, uh, where you're located and so on. But keep in mind, these high voltage batteries that power up your hybrid powertrain system are expected to last anywhere between eight to 10 years or 100,000 to 150,000 miles at least, but many have had them in their hybrid Toyota vehicles, original high voltage battery for much longer than that which is why manufacturers like Toyota have attached a fantastic standard warranty on these hybrid powertrain components like your high voltage battery. For example, the later model Toyota vehicles have a manufacturer warranty on your hybrid electric battery of 10 years or 240,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. That's impressive. That's a long standing warranty from the manufacturer. Well guys, I hope I helped answer any questions or possible concerns over if hybrid powertrain systems are actually that good and do they actually pose any risk to other mechanical components in your hybrid Toyota vehicle like your combustion engine. I hope you enjoyed this video and topic. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. We'll catch you on the next video guys. Take care.